Hey guys, so we've been on the road for the last 10 months, over 10 months, using a battery that you charge with the alternator when we drive, and it's been pretty awful, to be honest. So now today I decided to switch to solar. I got 200 watts of flexible solar panels that I'm gonna install on top of the bus. I also have some extension cable, some connectors, and a solar charge controller, which is super tiny, it has some USB ports. I'm really excited to see it. All. Everything here has been bought on Amazon Prime. I will put links in the description. And let's get started. Egg, so this is really, really thin, like so thin. It's a flexible solar panel from HQST. We'll use some antenna bone tape to stick them on the roof instead of using screws. They usually use that for roofing, so it's waterproof, watertight, super heavy duty. The only hole I will make will be to pass the wire through the roof and I will seal it with some clear silicone. some MC4 connectors to mount them in parallel. I really apologize for the wind. It's super windy here in Moab. But anyways, these are extension wires and they are super cool because they come with connectors already mounted on them. So it's a lot easier to put them on. All you need to do is cut in the middle one part on the solar panel and one part goes back to the solar charge controller. Again guys, this is all from Amazon. I will put a link down below. I seriously have no idea where I'm gonna put them. That's cool because they bend. So they will be able to take the shape of the bus. I like it a little bit farther, I think. Yeah, since I step on the front. Did you ever think you'd be that person installing solar panels at a park? Never. <laughs> at a public park? At a public park in Moab. <laughs> never thought that. Austin! Hi! Sit. Good boy. Speak. Speak. Good boy. Paw. Good boy. Good boy, little tiny. Come here. Come give your mommy a kissy. So now I'm taking the negative of both solar panels and I'm gonna connect them onto one MC4 connector. So now I've connected them in parallel. For the solar charge controller, I took the extension cable, I cut it in half. The female is gonna go onto the male and the other way around. The negative is going onto the negative and positive to positive of the solar charge controller. Another important thing you need to do before you install is to make sure they're working correctly and test them. I'm not actually testing them right now because we're in the shade. I did a test earlier and I got a good result, 20 volts. So I'm ready to install them. putting some little pieces of velcro here and here to keep the panel in place before I install it completely.
and then the eternal bond tape. So they get the shape of the bus perfectly. Next step is to make a hole in the ceiling and put the wires through. Okay, I just made a hole in the ceiling. I think that was the most scariest thing I've ever done on this van. Now I'm about to run the wires so they don't show. I'm using this piece of Eterna Bond tape with those little pieces to mount the wires with a sticky back and a zip tie so I don't need to make any Pause. Yeah. All right, guys. So I finished mounting the solar charge controller. I put it right above the battery, somewhere it's not gonna be seen, but where I can easily access it. And I'm about to start hooking up the wires, starting by the battery cables, and then the solar panels. So here we can still open it and charge our stuff with the USB. Okay, and that's it. We get power. We get power from the solar panel to the battery. It's charging right now, so that's cool. Right away, you just plugged it in. Yeah. So now I can read 12.5. I plugged it in like five minutes ago, it was at 12.3. That's, that's just crazy, because with the old auxiliary battery, I would just get 12.3 when the car wasn't running. And now, there you go. So I still have to mount it, make it look all nice, run the wires, and it will be complete. Connected to the inverter, we'll have power on the inverter too, right? Yep. So we can charge like our laptops. And yeah, our we camera. can charge our laptops. Yeah. Camera batteries, everything. We're harvesting the power of the sun. Amazing. <laughs> we put everything back in the cabinet, and this is how it looks. I really like the way it came out. It's so tiny, I almost can't see it. <laughs> 